Hey guys, I happen to be down here in Hochelaga and that means I'm right near the um, Renaissance thrift store in this neighborhood. So I'm going to take you with me. This is actually quite a big store. There's like um, a boutique section there, which is probably more expensive. I'll let you know if I find anything. Oh my God, that is for a Reebok. Oh, 15 bucks, that's crazy. From what I can tell, all the stuff in this boutique section is, I mean, it's still a good price if you're just getting it for you, but like for reselling, this is totally pointless. I think the, the boutique section was like mostly sportswear and then over here it's tops, but like see they mix sweaters with all kinds of shirts. So it's actually kind of confusing. That's why I like the one in NDG better. It's a pretty cute Urban Outfitters sweater with them, um, like tied up in the back. Very impractical, but very cute. I'm not really sure how they decide what goes in the boutique section and what doesn't, because it's like the same brands here, same quality. Well, I found something I like. Look, I found a Desic Wall dress. I love those. It's $7.50. It's not bad. It's so soft. Oh my god, it's from Rose and Vine. I don't know if it's worth anything. It's so soft. Just want to keep it with me for a while and give it some love. I found this. This is a Nadia Toto sweater. Got some hats here. Mexican birthday party. Ooh, what's that? That's a wool hat. Made in Canada. That's vintage. Oh, that is, that's really cute. You know what? I would actually get that. Oops. Uh, oops. Yeah, that's pretty cute. That's like legit vintage. I've sold those before. That's a very cool, stylish beach hat. That's really nice. The only problem with this kind of thing is where do you keep it without getting ruined? This, I really love this. This is very cool. Beach boho. And they usually have pretty good shoes here, but they're not cheap. Look at this. $30. Well, what is it? Oh, it's Ugg. <laughs> well, that's nice. I mean, it's a good price for a pair of Uggs. But for you, you know, not to resell. Because they probably sell for 30 bucks on Poshmark. And probably look newer, too. They're Harley Davidson boots. Definitely interesting, even though they're 30 bucks. So I looked them up and they sell for about 55 bucks on Poshmark. And these ones are a size six too, so very good. I'm going upstairs to check out the skirts. So far, I still have only the sweater and the desert wall dress. There's a whole big section here. There's like kid stuff, toys there, and then there's all the skirts and pants. And then over there, there's the home section. Like it's actually a really huge store. More kids stuff here. <sighs> like I actually really like this Ann Taylor skirt. It looks so Victorian. What? Five seventy five. It's not bad. I don't know if this is like outdated or what, but to me, it's got Victorian vibes. It looks like you know what they used to go swimming in or something. The little pleats here. It's nice. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the skirt isn't worth much. I have to put it back. No, you know what? I, I think I might take it anyway, because I just like it so much. It's got these like spooky Wednesday Adams vibes. That's what I like about it. Okay, there's a new rack here. You always want to check the new racks. Because no one else has checked it before you. found something else cool. This is a vintage garoche skirt. I really love it. I think I'm gonna get it. Okay, I'm just gonna have a quick look in here. I'll let you know if I find anything. I actually just sold a whole bunch of glass, so like I could... Wait, what's that? This is cool. Thanks to Google Lens, I found that this is a hand-blown stemless wine glass and it's actually from Ikea. You guys, I just found something very unusual and collectible in the uh, little bags of odds and ends. Look at 
this. You see this? It's like a miniature of a Russian cathedral. Apparently those things are, they're old and they're collectible. So, I mean, for two bucks, you know? And I've had quite some luck with selling like collectible oddities, so I'm gonna take it. I just filmed this also, very cute, I don't know if it's old, maybe not, but it's really nice little cottage core like hanging planter or container. I can't believe what I just found. I have some like this at home and mine are destroyed because I, well, I let Aaron use them actually and he got them all black, so that's great. Yeah, I'll take those. I found one more interesting thing. These are very old, like vintage metal boxes with latches. This is cool, and in my past experience, those things sold well. Okay, one more thing. I'm getting this doll's kill hat. It's just sitting out. It's just sitting there in the open. Um, I'm taking your advice, Robin. I'm picking up hats. <laughs> it's only like two bucks. So. Can't lose. Hey guys, so I'm here. It's a few days later, just to wrap up the video. So what I ended up getting was, yes, I got the desert wall and look, I'm wearing it. It's become one of my favorites. It's like a tunic actually. So I got the desert wall. I got that Nadia Toto sweater because I mean, it's like a kind of obscure, lesser known designer, but it is good quality and it had these bows on it, which are kind of trendy right now. I mean, let's hope that I didn't make a mistake. And what else did I get? I got um, from the home section. Look, it's right there. <laughs> that one i just love the look of it i think i'll probably keep it for a while and then put it up for sale and maybe somebody will want it you know uh i don't expect to make much for it but anyway you know in a, in and out right <laughs> like enjoy for a while and then hand it off to someone else uh the metal boxes i think that was good like i said in the past metal boxes have totally sold and for actually like i sold it the last time I had a good metal box, I sold it for less than I should have, but people were offering me double. So let's just see how that works out. And uh, the little Russian thing, I think that was, that was okay, you know, and it didn't cost me very much. And the placemats, um, turns out one large one and four small are the floral motif that I already had, which I want to keep for myself. And then there was like four extra with a different motif uh it's by a company called pimpernel and they're from england so they're up in my store and at the very end i also found a wilfred dress which is called la bohème sidonie uh, which is very beautiful it's like made out of modal wait i'll go like this so you can see the dress here now this is an absolutely gorgeous dress it's an extra small so whatever not the best size but very beautiful but it did have some marks on it and i thought well let me see if i can get them out I think that they're out like 99%. There's a small trace of it. So it's a dilemma now because I would have to kind of disclose that, yes, maybe there's a small mark, but that might discourage most people from buying it. But honestly, okay, I paid nine. It's an Aritzia dress. If I sell it for 25, which is like absolute bargain basement, I still make 10 bucks. I mean, well, let's see what happens. I'm, I'm willing to just try it out. I mean, really the stain is gone. And it is a great dress. So if you're not like particular about it being 100% perfect, I think it's going to be a great score for whoever picks it up. So that was it. That was my haul. And I, you know, not really a haul. I mean, I'm trying not to buy too much, but realistically to have a store that's running well, you do need to have a lot of inventory. So the trick is to not just like let your shopping eat up all your profits but i've been learning some new strategies so that i'm actually making more sales now than before i've basically again recovered everything that i reinvested and plus a couple grand more or so so i mean i'm still in the green and i'm i'm, I'm treating this as like a kind of learning experience and i'm, I'm right now i'm studying um different like fashion aesthetics uh, cores and different labels that are highly sought after because you would not believe how many times I was in that thrift store in NDG and I saw a label I didn't know what it was it turned out to prove impossible to look up on Google Lens and then I found out after actually that was a very very valuable brand like I found Maison Margiela I saw the tag and I was like that's so weird what is this with all these numbers I had no idea and now I'm like oh that's what it was I also found Cezanne passed it up because I didn't know I found um, Anti-Social Social Club, didn't know. So, you know, I'm learning. So it, I think that down the road, eventually I'll, I'll get 
you know, some expertise and I'll be able to make really good decisions about what I pick up. In the meantime, you know, it's, it's fun and I hope that you're enjoying coming thrifting with me. I don't get a lot of views on these videos. I, I just do them because I love you and because you want me to take you thrifting. And so here you go. It's not because like, you know, they're going to go viral or like as if I would make any money. I don't make any money on YouTube. Honestly, I make like maybe $50 a month. 50. So thank you for joining my Patreon. If you like keeping me here on YouTube, thanks. It helps. But that is pretty much why I have shifted over to reselling because YouTube, you know, it just doesn't pay. Let's be honest. So I'm just here for the, the love and light and the shits and giggles and our live streams. Love you guys, though. You're, you're the best. I'm very blessed to have you as my audience and have you in my life. In my life. And I was going to say, I hope to do a live soon. I've just been feeling very frumpy. Like, look at me. I'm frumping around. I'm, I'm not looking very good. I'm a reseller now, so there's a lot less attention on me trying to look good. Actually, that's nothing new. I was always frumpy. Like, I've been frumpy for years. But I, it's at the point where I feel like I'm so frumpy, I don't even want to be on camera. I hope you forgive me for frumping. And I've been tired because I put all my effort into thrifting and photographing and listening on top of my, you know, regular stuff. And then I'm tired, yeah. And then I don't feel like getting on camera because I feel like it's this frumpy old reseller here. <laughs> Maybe I should come on live, though. If you're wondering why I haven't been, it's because that. Plus, I had to do my taxes, and that took a lot out of me. Anyway, that's it. You know, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.